company. Here from Berlin, Monday. A very happy Music Monday from all of us at the Canadian Opera Company. Harriet Hamilton Marola wrote the words to one of the most important anthems of the civil rights movement. It was the early 1960s when she received the ask to write lyrics to Oscar Peterson's hymn. With a simple pen and paper, she wrote the words that we in Canada now grow up singing in school. When every hand joins every hand and together molds our destiny, that's when we'll be free. Harriet's stunning lyrics perfectly encompass what each and every one of you participating in Music Monday are doing. We are all joining hands and carving out our own destinies, our own paths in and through music. We unfortunately lost Harriet in January of this year, but through all of you singing together in harmony today, her beautiful and timeless words will continue to be heard and will only grow stronger. Harriet was a truly exceptional woman with a kind heart, brilliant mind. Her generosity of spirit is something we are all lucky to have been able to experience, whether from spending time with her or reading, singing, and sharing her written words. She will be missed dearly, and I can say personally that I'm eternally grateful for the gifts she shared so willingly, both of her talents as a lyricist and as a friend to those who knew her. Thank you, Harriet. We'll miss you. to say that I cannot envision having done some of the things that I've done without my music to go with me, and in some cases before me. I found that it was a subject that I could go back to, I could rely on, and because of the complexity of some of the music, it, it opened uh, new areas of thought for me, and it gave me different goals to shoot for. We have here the chance to, to bring into the world a country that has a great reputation for kindness, for a sense of what is right and what is wrong. All those things mean nothing if you don't have that sense of culture, if you can't appreciate things like music. Today we're, you know, this, the anthem for Music Monday for the next two years will be Hymn to Freedom. Mm -hmm. And you had a very lengthy <laughs> professional relationship uh, with the composer of that song. Yes, and Oscar was a good friend. <laughs> and can you talk a little bit about any discussions the two of you had or his perspective on the importance of music education? Because he was very vocal about that, at least with me. He, he, he felt that jazz music should be uh, taught and, and be available to all young kids. You know, he didn't think that there was any restriction particularly. I first met Oscar at the Banff School of uh, Summer, it was the Banff Summer Music Program in 1974, and we were both there to teach. So, yes, I would say your father was very committed to jazz education and involving all kids from all walks of life who, who show any kind of uh, inclination and desire to, to play this music. I actually, one of the, one of the first albums I heard was Oscar Peterson's 
music, some of the few first albums, and I mean, I absolutely just got, that's when I actually knew that this is it. I have to, I have to be a musician and I have to play piano. I was able to play with Oliver for almost 15 years. Uh, he has a close love of the music of Mr. Peterson, as well as this song, Hymn to Freedom. We played it every single night. It was the last song uh, of the evening, every single night, like without exception. The Coalition for Music Education in Canada believes that music education is the right of every child and that quality instruction by specialist music teachers is vital to a well-rounded education. Now more than ever, Canadians realize the value of music. Through advocacy, research and programs like Music Monday, the Coalition is hard at work to ensure that music lives on in our schools and communities. Visit coalitioncanada.ca slash donate and support our mission to ensure that the lives of all Canadian children are enriched by quality school music programs. For a limited time, donors will receive video and audio of this exclusive recording by Dave Young, Robbie Botosh, and Jim Doxis, three of Canada's top jazz artists. Join together in harmony with hundreds of thousands of Canadians who believe in the value of music. Visit coalitioncanada.ca for more information.
Hey, it's Larnell Lewis, and I want to wish you a happy music Monday. All right? I hope that you are making music on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, every day. Just keep it up. Keep it going. Keep practicing. All right? Stay safe. Hi, everyone. I'm Valerie Pringle, and I want to say happy Music Monday to all of you. This is a very important celebration, of course. Music is such a big part of my life, although I'm not very musically talented. The rest of my family was, but we were always singing. My sister played the guitar, my brother played the piano, my younger sister had a beautiful voice or has a beautiful voice, so we always sang a lot of folk music, camp songs. I once took the bassoon and got to play in a school orchestra. Once again, I wasn't very good, but oh, it was so much fun to be part of that music making. And once also when I was young at school, I was part of a choir and we sang a concert at Massey Hall. I'll never forget it. It was amazing. Music education is so important. Never forget that. Happy Music Monday, Canada. Music education is important. And let me tell you why. Whether it's visual or performance, art is the greatest fury of passion and positive change the world has ever known. You are blessed. My name is Tom Jackson. Hi everyone, bonjour tous. I'm Charlotte Diamond and I'm here to help us celebrate Music Monday. A big thank you to all the music teachers right across Canada and their students that have kept the beat going in spite of the challenges of distance learning. I know that I have wonderful memories of being part of Music Monday in Vancouver and around Toronto. It was so exciting to hear the bands and hear the choirs and everybody sharing their love of music. Music is like food. It's a nourishment. We actually grow when we play music together. So keep playing your music, keep being in love with music, and remember Music Monday, and let's celebrate. We can make music anywhere. I love to sing when I'm out working in my garden. This song, the garden song. Inch by inch, row by row, gonna make my garden grow gonna mulch it deep and low gonna make it fertile ground inch by inch row by row please bless these seeds i sow please keep them safe below till the rains come tumbling down till the rains come Oh, my God. 
all begin? In elementary school. Thank you, Marie Enns, Grosvenor School, and all the schools across the country who bring music to their students, for this is where it begins, and who knows where it can take you, even to the stages of the opera all over the world. Hey Canada, happy Music Monday. My name is William Leathers, and I'm from Mississauga, Ontario. I'm a classical trumpet student at the Juilliard School. Growing up, I was very fortunate to have music education in school, and I can't imagine my life without it. Music education is not just about teaching how to play an instrument, but how to feel, express, love, collaborate with others, and understand the value of hard work. During this COVID-19 pandemic, music has been used in every culture to thank the doctors, nurses, and essential workers across the globe. Music has also been used to keep our spirits up while in quarantine. I've never met anyone who doesn't like music. It's the international language that brings us together. Thank you. Canada, it's Dr. Evelyn Rubin, family doctor and former Jeopardy champion, wishing you a happy Music Monday from Toronto. These are the best ways to protect yourself from COVID-19. What are stay home, practice social distancing, and wash your hands. And of course, keep connected online with initiatives like Music Monday at Home from the Coalition for Music Education in Canada. Hopefully we'll be able to celebrate together in person next May. Hi there. I'm Justin Welsh, a opera singer and a Canada Post worker, and I'd like to wish everyone in Canada a happy Music Monday. Hi everyone, this is Rebecca Small and I'm an internal medicine re resident here in St. John's, Newfoundland, but I also grew up playing the trombone, cello and piano. I wouldn't be who I am today without all the music in my life. So thank you to all my music teachers throughout the years and to all the music teachers across Canada. Happy Music Monday, stay safe and keep playing. I'm Cheryl Siwipegaham. I live in Edmonton, Alberta, and I am from the Little Red River Cree Nation in Northern Alberta. On behalf of music therapists across Canada, I would like to wish everyone a very happy Music Monday. Hi there, I'm Misha Bruger gosman and I can't say enough in support of music education. Of course, I am a uh, example of what music education can do but beyond that when I think of you know my sons and what it's going to afford them to be able to manipulate the parts of their brains responsible for problem solving and you know how the arts are able to teach us new ways to think and see things from multiple perspectives we're not creating a whole new generation of musicians necessarily although that is a wonderful thing to do we're training problem solvers to take us, to usher us into a better way of life, into a better way of, of being amongst each other. And I just want this for all of us. Music education unlocks the door to being able to see our way forward in new and very important ways. Mm -hmm.
Good morning, Canada, and an even earlier good morning to our friends in Western Canada. Welcome to Music Monday at Home, a presentation from the Coalition for Music Education in Canada. It's so nice to see so many people signing in to watch today and share a common experience through music. I'm Sandy Marshall, I'm your host for Music Monday, and I'm here at my home in Toronto, where I coincidentally have this giant media wall in my living room that just happens to match today's event. I hope you and your families are ready to enjoy a full day of Canadian music by talented musicians from all over the country. This is a very different Music Monday from those in the past, and even though we can't see you in person, it's great to have you online with us. If you joined us right at the start of the webcast, you've been watching our Spotlight Hour with greetings and performances, including our amazing virtual choir performing this year's Music Monday anthem, Hymn to Freedom. If you missed it, that's okay. We'll show it again just after our Music Monday anthem sing-along at 12.30 and again at 6. If you're watching on our website, you'll see various activities and information happening throughout this viewing window. Feel free to send us comments and say hello on social media. You'll see our handles on the screen throughout the day. Just make sure to use the hashtag TogetherInHarmony. For our friends watching on Facebook Live and YouTube Live, we've got chats on both of those channels as well. Tell us where you're watching from and who you're watching with. And if you want to send us a photo of your instrument or your pet or your pet playing an instrument, we'll share some of those as well. We're starting off today in Atlantic Canada. For the next 90 minutes, you'll hear from artists in Newfoundland and Labrador, PEI, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, along with some very special Music Monday greetings. So let's start the celebration. Welcome to Music Monday at Home.
name is Robert Colburn and I'm the choral director at Holy Heart High School in St. John's, Newfoundland and I just wanted to say a Happy Music Monday to everyone right across the country. McClellan. I'm Tara McLean. Happy Music Monday. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to say um, how much music education really meant to me over the years. Um, I had the most amazing teachers and they definitely changed my life. I feel really lucky to have had a dad who taught me how to play guitar and incredible music teachers in uh, public school that uh, really kept validating me and encouraging me to make music my life. So I wouldn't have done it without them. When the world is spinning round and round Ashes, ashes, we all fall down When we wake up in a scary Take some time so 
shore of Prince Edward Island. Welcome to Music Monday at Home and to the Atlantic Region broadcast. My name is Kirsten McLean and I am the Secretary on the Executive for the Coalition for Music Education in Canada. I also have the privilege of being the Music Teacher and Band Director at Gulf Shore Consolidated School in North Rustico, PEI. Music Monday is a day of celebration, a day to celebrate the vital role that music plays not just in our classrooms but in our lives, and in our homes. I remember the first time I held a trumpet. From that moment forward, as a student, I understood the value of connection. I felt connected to my school, to my fellow students and my teachers, but most importantly, I was able to connect with my feelings and express them in a new way I had never experienced before. Happy Music Monday. Hi there, I'm Sandy Marshall, and thanks so much for joining us on Music Monday at Home. Right now, we're about halfway through the Atlantic region section of the broadcast. You've just seen music from harpist Sarah Weber, Holy Heart Choir, and Tara McLean and Catherine McClellan. You've got a lot more music coming your way from the Newfoundland Symphony Orchestra and other musicians. But before we do that, we wanted to recognize all the companies who've helped us with Music Monday this year. Hi there, my name is Heather Cow. I'm the concertmaster of the Newfoundland Symphony Orchestra and the first violinist of the Atlantic String Quartet. Thank you to the Coalition for Music Education for inviting us to take part today. Here in St. John's, the NSO and Chevron have a program called Symphony Goes to School and Beyond. 
Someday when we can work together and play together again, we'll be happy to perform live for you. For today, here's some previously recorded footage from concerts by the ASQ. The first piece is the Beethoven String Quartet, number 11, opus 95, the first movement, which Beethoven called the Serioso Quartet. The second piece is Someday My Prince Will Come, which you'll recognize from Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And the third piece is Italian song called Funiculi Funicula, in which we do something a little different. Happy Music Monday!
Um, so we picked something that uh, is very reminiscent. We've done it a million times, so we thought we'd jazz it up a little bit. Um, and uh, we're going to press the change out. Kate's always wanted to play first violin. Sydney, Nova Scotia, located in beautiful Cape Breton with her big fiddle on the waterfront. My name's Leslie Ann Andrews, and I'm a music teacher and the arts education consultant for the Cape Breton Victoria Regional Center for Education. I've been involved with Music Monday since the very first one, and it's always something I look forward to every year for both myself and my students. I have some many, many great memories, but I'll share three of them with you today. Uh, one of my favorite memories is when we get together as a large district, we bring all of our students together to sing in the community. And we've been privileged to include our Escazoni community with that. And many times they open up our ceremonies with the Mi'kmaq Honor Song. It's such a privilege to be part of that. So we thank them for that. Also, one year we had one of our 11-year-old students write a song called Music Is My Life, which fits so perfectly with the Music Monday theme. And we had so many students sing it with this student. His name is Cruz Wilson, and you can look him up on YouTube. It's a fabulous song for Music Monday. And another of my memories that's a favorite one is when we got to host the national broadcast. So we had many of our elementary students gathered together to sing the song, and we had all of our high school band students come together to play the song. We marched in the streets first, and then 1,100 students worked together to come together at our Member 2 um, Trade and Convention Center. It was just wonderful. And also, we were privileged to have the Bear McNeils be part of that broad broadcast. Thanks so much, everyone, for listening. Have a great Music Monday. Make memories. Thank you so much to the Coalition for Music Education for its advocacy in promoting music education in our schools. We really appreciate what you do. Happy Music Monday. Hey, everyone. I'm Carter Chesson from ABMHS High School in Escazoni First Nation, Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Nicole Leblanc de l'Ecole NDA à Chetican en Nouvelle-Écosse. We really wish we could be celebrating Music Monday in person this year, but that's just not possible. But keep singing and dancing from home, stay safe and healthy, and we'll see you all very soon. Take care, everyone. Happy Music Monday, everyone. My name is Giselle de Gisman from Halifax, Nova Scotia. And today I'm going to be singing a few original songs for y'all um, in the next little bit. So without further ado, this one is dedicated to Victoria, and it's called Good Girl.
this last song that I'm going to be singing is actually the the last song that I released and this one is called Rosy Glass. I hope you enjoy it. She said, dust it off and raise it glass. We need for little conversations on two stuff your feet. Better move on and raise it glass. Just gotta learn from this lesson. It's just a feat. Papa taught me how to get my hands dirty. That's right. Broken easy, dust it off and raise it glass. Don't wait for little conversations, don't you? Stop your feet. Better move on and raise it glass. Just gotta learn from this lesson. It's just a feat. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today. Um, I hope you have an amazing Music Monday. Um, stick around for some more incredible musicians to go um, throughout the day. Have a great day, everyone. We want to send a shout out to all the groups who had been ready to host or perform at our St. John's, Halifax, Dartmouth, and Fredericton celebrations. The Halifax Public Library and Nova Scotia Department of Education and Early Childhood Development, the Newfoundland Symphony Orchestra, who you've just heard from, and the Newfoundland and Labrador English School District, the Holy Heart of Mary High School and Choir, our partners in Fredericton, and all the schools and students in the region who had planned to participate in Music Monday. Hi, my name is Sarah Nelson, and I'm 14 years old, and I've been playing fiddle for nine years. Hi, my name is James Nelson, and I'm 12 years old, and I've been playing guitar for eight years. Happy Music Monday from New Brunswick, Canada. Our first song we're going to play is called Amy the Journalist Jig into Irish and Touch of the East.
everybody has a great Music Monday. We're going to end off with a new Brunswick classic called San Andrea. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Wishing our musical friends from across Canada a wonderful Music Monday. From Music Education at Memorial University of Newfoundland. Let's celebrate. Happy Music Monday, Canada, to all those music teachers, music students, music makers, audience goers. Let's celebrate music all across our country. Happy Music Monday from St. John's, Newfoundland, and Labrador. While it's disappointing we can't be taking part in celebrations together this year, I'm very excited to be a part of our virtual event. My favorite Music Monday memory was the 10th anniversary celebrations that in St. John's took part at our Science Center, the Geo Center, and several of my students performed. I look forward to next year when we can all celebrate together in harmony. Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Stanley and I'm the Fine Arts Program Specialist with the Newfoundland and Labrador English School District. On behalf of myself, the Newfoundland and Labrador English School District and all music educators throughout Newfoundland and Labrador, I wish you all a very happy Music Monday. Hey everyone, happy Music Monday. I hope everyone's staying safe. My name is Paige Penny and I'm going to play a few original songs for Music Monday. The first song I'm going to play is a song called Fingers Crossed, written by me and my dad, Kirk Penny. Please say something now. I can't stand the sound of my own thoughts. I haven't figured out how to untie these tangly knots but I got my fingers crossed that we won't always be this lost it's not our fault that stars get crossed cause every day somewhere there's always somebody crying and every day somewhere there's always somebody trying Our dreams to come true 
Tonight I'm gonna wish for love Fingers crossed I'll be lucky with you I'll be lucky with you Thanks everyone. So I have one more song for you guys today and it's called Shooting Star. I'd like to thank you all for watching this and thanks for having me Music Monday. I had such a fun time. So this song is called Shooting Star and it was written by myself, my dad Kirk Penny and Alan Doyle. So the music video for this song came out in February, so definitely go check the video out. It features Alan in the video, which is awesome, so definitely give that a view. Here's Shooting Star. Dreams might get you somewhere if you dream while you're awake. So clench your fist and go in. Only your own eyes can see. You've prayed and slept. A baby step is the only step you'll need. Time flies and takes the best of us. So let's fly. Are inside the case. The world she lives in is haunted, and the ghosts are all the same. They're just all it's on a second hand phone, they're just players in. Thanks so much for joining us on Music Monday. We seem to be having issues with technical feed at the moment. Thanks for your patience, and we'll be back on the air as soon as possible. In the meantime, stand up, stretch, move around, and get some water. That's what we're doing. Thanks so much for joining us My on Music My name is Sarah Nelson, and I'm 14. Thanks so much for joining us on Music Monday at Home. We seem to be having some issues with our technical feed at the moment. You know, with an online show, that's one of the things you can never predict, which is why I pre-recorded this transition just to help fill some time. I didn't mention this before, but I've played several musical instruments in my life. The piano, violin, trombone, 
even the drums. One of these days, I'll have to update my Wikipedia page. Actually, that's a good reminder. I need to get a Wikipedia page. Thanks for your patience, and we'll be back on the air as soon as we can. In the meantime, stand up, stretch, move around, and get some water. That's what we're doing. Hi, my name is Sarah Nelson, and I'm 14 years old. Wasting your time, waiting for shooting stars. 
these uncertain times, music lifts our spirits, fills our lives, and provides relief while binding us together. Thank you to all who make quality music education available in our public schools. Happy Music Monday from Prince Edward Island. Uh, sing a song, play a tune, make some art for Music Monday. Sing a song, play a tune, hear the sound of student voices ring. A choir or a band, we're making music across the land, join with the other musically. Make a song, play a tune, all together in harmony. Said, make a song, play a tune, all together in harmony. Good morning. I'm Liam Sakalaskis, and this is the Special Music Monday News Bulletin from ECK News. Today marks the 16th annual Music Monday celebration, presented by the Coalition for Music Education in Canada. Every year on the first Monday in May, Canadians from coast to coast to coast join together to celebrate music and raise awareness for music education. Now over to my brother Lucas with some fun facts about this year's Music Monday event. Thank you, Liam. Today's Music Monday at Home broadcast is the first time this event has been completely digital. For everybody watching at home, here are my top three fun facts about Music Monday. Fun fact number one, Music Monday at Home will run online for 12 hours with performances from across Canada. You can check out our website for our schedule so you don't miss out on anything. Fun fact number two, Music Monday anthem this year is Hymn to Freedom by Oscar Peterson. Today you'll get to see the first ever virtual choir performance of this beautiful song. Fun fact number three, Music Monday at home is all about comfort, connection, and community through music. You can get involved by sharing the Music Monday experience on social media. Just use the hashtag Together in Harmony. And now, I'll ask Liam to demonstrate a song on the trumpet. Thank you, Lucas. I've got my trumpet, and today I'm going to show you how to play Morning Mood. This song uses the notes G, E, D, C, A, and goes like this. <laughs> school and I like playing it because it sounds smooth and has soft notes. This has been a special news bulletin. I'm Liam Sakalaskis and from all of us here at ECK News, Happy Music Monday. We're pretty excited about our new research project because we're conducting the very first national study on access to music education in Canadian schools. We want to establish what music education access looks like for kids all across the country, and we want every school in Canada represented. We'll be serving school administrators, generalist teachers, and specialist music teachers, and as they complete their surveys, the schools will be entered into a drawing for one of three $5,000 instrument grants from our partners at Music Counts. It's a massive project, and if you'd like to learn more about it, check out the Music Monday broadcast page. The address is on your screen below. All right, now back to more music, and thanks so much for joining. We will see you in a bit. Hey, everybody. Happy Music Monday. My name is Emma Stevens, and I'm from a lovely community called Eskasoni First Nation in Cape Breton. And I really wish I could be there with you guys, but unfortunately, I can't. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you. on in the land of the dawn in the hearts of the old and the young where the sweet grass grows so wild and so free where the big sea unum hagi Door from shore to shore, a 
treasure I'll say no more As the sun sinks low The moonlight the snow And the stars sing Una Mari
Um, my name is John, and I'm a singer-songwriter living in Nova Scotia. Um, I grew up in England, so I didn't experience the Canadian education system, but wherever we are in the world, music education is massively important. It allows us to express ourselves, express our emotions, even if we're going to be uh, musicians in the future or we're not. Having that chance to uh, nurture and grow that part of ourselves, that creative, expressive part of ourselves through music is essential. So it's really great that um, Music Monday exists and it's really great that all these people are coming together to support music education in Canada. Hi folks, I'm Zach Churchill, the Minister of Education and Early Childhood Development for the province of Nova Scotia. We've all been through a lot these past weeks as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, being asked to stay home, away from our loved ones, away from our friends here in Nova Scotia. We've recently been through an unspeakable tragedy. And one of the things that does help us get through times like this, that helps us feel like we do have company when we're alone, and that can not just help us process uh, difficult emotions, but also help us uh, feel better is music. And it's been incredible to see all of the artists and singers and musicians share their their music online through social media so that people can benefit from that during times such as this. And today, Music Monday, let's take the time to really uh, celebrate music and its role in our lives, how it brings us together and how it impacts us individually. So today, take some time to play your favorite song, sing your favorite song, write a new song, or maybe just dance around your house and see what impact music can have on you today. Thank you all so much. Hi, everybody. My name is Stephen Horseman. I'm the MLA for Fredericton North here in Fredericton, New Brunswick. I would like to wish all New Brunswickers and all Canadians a happy Music Monday. Music education plays a huge role here in New Brunswick with programs such as Sistema that provides free music lessons and instruments to elementary school children. You can see the joy not only in the students, but the wonderful surprise in parents' faces when they come to hear them play in concert. Music is one thing that brings people together, whether in good times or in sad times, or even uncertain times like we've been facing lately. I hope you enjoy all the performances that you will hear today and find ways to make music a part of your lives. Stay safe, everybody, and happy Music Monday, Canada. Hi there, Sandy Marshall here again. And before we head to our live performance, I wanted to let you know about our Music Monday at Home fundraising campaign. Any funds that are raised today will be split between helping us advocate for equal access to quality music education for all students across Canada and the Unison Fund, which was established to help artists whose livelihood has been affected by the COVID-19 shutdowns. You can donate through our website at coalitioncanada.ca slash donate, and everyone who donates will be sent a link to a special download, an exclusive jazz recording of Hymn to Freedom from our Spotlight Celebration. Now going live to hang out with Jacques Arsenault for a special performance. Jacques is from PEI and was a virtuoso accordionist before developing his vocal talents as a tenor. For everyone joining us here at Music Monday at Home, please put your hands together for Jacques Arsenault. Hi, I'm Annie Kidder, and I'm the Executive Director of People for Education. We're an organization working in Canada to ensure that our public education systems are the best they can possibly be. We support Music Monday because music is an incredibly important part of every public education system, and every child, no matter where they live or the income of their parents, needs to have access to music education. Through music, kids learn to collaborate, they learn to communicate, to understand their own culture and the culture of others, they learn to be resilient. All of these skills are vital for success in our complex world. Hi everyone, my name is Christy Fletcher and I'm the Executive Director of Music Counts, Canada's music education charity associated with the Juno Awards. I hope you are all enjoying what is a different but still very special Music Monday celebration. As music teachers across Canada have been asked to modify their approach to music education, Music Counts has also been working to rethink our programs so that we can best support music education in Canada during this unprecedented time. That being said, we are so excited to offer a new program called Music Counts Learn 
The main goal of this program is to help teachers and parents facilitate at-home music education. On our website, you will find a curated hub of teaching resources. This database is fully searchable, so you can easily find what you're looking for. Music Counts Learn will also feature a blog series for teachers to share how they're approaching remote music education and for parents to share how they're keeping music alive in the home. And finally, a series of virtual town halls will put teachers, parents, and artists from across Canada in dialogue with each other, discussing what this unusual time will mean for music education. Through offering these programs and resources and facilitating these conversations, we hope to create a space for teachers and parents to learn from each other. For more on Music Counts Learn, please visit musiccounts.ca. Thank you everyone and happy Music Monday. Hi everyone, my name is Adam Kahn and I'm working on my part for Music Monday. I hope you're all keeping well and making lots of great music during this time at home. Have you noticed the news on TV and on social media constantly sharing how music plays an important role in how we express our feelings and how music creates a sense of belonging and community? The skills that allow us to share these musical moments are directly linked to the strength of our Canadian music education programs. I'm the principal researcher for the National 2020 Study on the State of Music Education in Canada. We have a dedicated team of music education teachers and researchers all over the country working hard to gather important information. We are just about to launch the National Survey. Please help us by sharing the news with your music education friends and don't forget to fill out the survey. We want to hear from every school in Canada. As an added bonus, when you fill out the survey, your program will be eligible to win one of three $5,000 awards sponsored by our friends Music Counts. COVID-19 doesn't have to be a time that defines us. We are creative beings. This is a time of innovation. Your response to the National 2020 Study on the State of Music Education in Canada matters. Music Education matters. Happy Music Monday! Quelques rideaux feront la peur de l'ennui Car mes amours sont morts avant que d'exister Mes amis sont partis et ne reviendront pas Par ma faute j'ai fait le vide autour de moi Et j'ai gâché ma vie et mes jeunes années Du meilleur et du pire en jetant le meilleur J'ai figé mes sourires Glacer mes pleurs, où sont-ils à présent 
Bonjour tout le monde. My name is Jacques Arsenault, and that first song was Yeah Encore by Charles Aznavour. It's an honor for me to take place in today's program for Music Monday at home because of COVID-19, uh, brought to you by the Coalition for Music Education in Canada. I'm originally from Prince Edward Island, raised in Charlottetown, uh, coming to you from my apartment in Toronto today. Music has been a huge part of my entire life. I got my first accordion, much smaller than this one, for my fifth birthday. I went to a French school, L'Ecole Francois Buat, in Charlottetown from grade one to grade 12. And I was fortunate that we had music education when I was in elementary school. Uh, but when we got to junior and high school, things really petered out and there was pretty much nothing in our school uh, in high school years. In Prince Edward Island, however, that's definitely not the case for the English schools who have a robust band program. Uh, in Toronto, similarly, my daughter enjoys the right to receive an education in French at an entirely French school, but there is no music program at all. And I know that's not restricted to French schools. Uh, and just in general across the country, we could afford to have more equitable access to quality music education. Once this crisis and this chaos has passed, and we return towards stability, or rather when we build again a sense of stability, I hope we remember that our children in their education need much more than facts and figures. Although those are important, we also have a responsibility to teach them human connection and emotional intelligence. And for me, music has always been a huge part, contributing factor towards those aspects of my life. This next song is one that's very near and dear to my heart. It's from Prince Edward Island. It was written by two Arsenaux uh, from around the same village where I'm originally from, Angèle and Albert Arsenault. It's a song called Le Voyageur, The Traveler, that talks about how for all of us islanders, no matter how far, we, how far away we go from home, our heart is always back on Prince Edward Island. It's a song that talks a lot about grandmothers. And so for me, this is a song that I dedicate to both of my grandmothers and to all of yours. Oui, 
This summer I was meant to go back to Prince Edward Island for some concerts and to visit my family. And like many others across the country and across the world, I've had to cancel those travel and performance plans for this summer, which for me is especially heartbreaking because that would have been my chance to go back home. And Prince Edward Island in the summer is just the best. And when you fly there, even as soon as you step off the plane, you smell the ocean in the air. I know I might not be uh, among the majority, but for me, the smell of low tide is actually an amazing, delicious, wonderful smell because it reminds me of the fact that I am back home where I want to be near the ocean, where you can just feel so small and at the same time, so relaxed and at ease. And so this is La Mer Beyond the Sea by Charles Trenet to help us dream of simpler, easier days to come. Oh 
I'll go sailing, love Oh, I'll go sailing, the Lord, they're going to clap. I'll get the sled of Jean, la mer. La mer, bergère d'azur, infinie. Voyez, c'est des gigants, ces grands ouvriers. Voyez, ces oiseaux blancs, ils aiment les ouvriers. Wow, you've just been watching PEI musician Jacques Arsenault. Thanks so much for that fun performance. The day is just getting started and we've already heard from so many amazing musicians. This wraps up our segment with music from Atlantic Canada, but we still got the rest of the country to hear from. We're now gonna head west to La Belle Provence for Lundi en Musique à la Maison and listen to music from our friends in Quebec. Merci Atlantic Canada and bonjour Quebec. Toutes et à tous. Mon nom est David Pérez Rochelle, professeur de musique au Collège Jean Eudes et membre du conseil d'administration de la Coalition pour l'éducation musicale au Canada. Je souhaite la bienvenue à tous les Canadiens et tout spécialement aux Québécoises et aux Québécois. Pour moi, le Lundi en musique est un moment important de l'année depuis six ans. J'y célèbre la musique dans nos vies, mais surtout dans nos écoles. Je crois fermement que chaque Canadien devrait avoir l'opportunité d'apprendre la musique durant son parcours scolaire. 
j'ai eu la chance incroyable d'apprendre la percussion tout au long de mon secondaire. Avec le sport, c'était ce qui me motivait le plus. J'ai développé des habiletés et des connaissances que je mobilise encore au quotidien. En plus, j'ai formé des amitiés que je maintiens plus de 15 ans plus tard. J'espère que vous êtes heureux et en santé, que vous profitez des circonstances pour jouer et partager plein de musique. Faisons ça ensemble aujourd'hui. Je vous souhaite un joyeux lundi en musique. Hey! Salut tout le monde! Moi, je m'appelle Gabriel Campagne. Je fais partie d'un groupe qui s'appelle Gabriel Campagne et les Barricades. Et moi et mon père, Paul Campagne, du groupe Art Rouge, on est ici pour le concert Lundi en musique pour la Coalition pour l'éducation musicale au Canada. Euh, on diffuse ici de la Saskatchewan. Notre famille a une ferme dans le sud. Alors malheureusement, il a fallu partir de Montréal. Mais même, même si je ne suis pas là, je pense quand même à toi, Montréal. On va vous chanter une chanson. On va commencer avec une chanson de Vigneau. Il n'y a rien de plus Montréal que ça, je pense. Hein? Si les bateaux que nous avons bâtis Prennent la mer avant que je revienne Car rugue ta voile ou si la mienne Fais comme si, fais comme si Nous en étions toujours les capitaines Nous en étions toujours les capitaines Profond comme au large de l'île comme une aile distorlée, loin comme l'Angleterre, je t'aimerai, je t'aimerai. Si les trésors dont nous avions la clé, le plan, la carte et la belle aventure, N'était que rêve et imposture, évoque-les, évoque-les par des drapeaux de plus dans les matures, par des drapeaux de plus dans les matures. Profond comme au large de l'île, doux comme une aile distorlée. Facteur ou jardinier Ne viens plus me parler de contrebande Mais si tu veux que je me pende Au grand hunier, au grand hunier Raconte-moi que tu as vu l'Irlande Raconte-moi que tu as vu l'Irlande Profond comme au large de comme une aile distorlée, loin comme l'Angleterre, je t'aimerai, je t'aimerai. Et voilà. C'est ça. Hmm. Bon, là, on va continuer avec une chanson que j'ai écrite pour mon groupe Les Barricades. Um, C'est une chanson à propos, je pense, dans les temps difficiles. Il y a des gens qui survivent des trucs vraiment extraordinaires. Et il ne faut pas oublier que des fois, um, après que le danger est passé, que ces, ces choses-là peuvent rester avec quelqu'un et qu'il faut... Gardez ça en tête quand on, quand on aime les autres. Quand j'ouvre les lettres, je goûte la poussière d'un autre pays. 
Elle traîne ses mots contre ses cicatrices quand elle m'écrit qu'elle rêve dans le désert avec seul confort son fusil. Ah, Je pense à toi quand je suis assis tout seul sur notre lit. Je pense à toi avec chaque frière que mon cœur frémit. Je pense à toi quand mon œil trace la mire de mon fusil. Ah, les lettres dans la boîte que je garde sous notre lit. Elle traîne ses mots contre ses cicatrices quand elle me dit qu'elle rêve toujours dans le désert même si elle est ici. Je m'ennuie. Bon, ben là, on, on va vous en faire une autre de Vigno. Pendant que les bateaux font l'amour et la guerre avec l'eau qui les broie. Pendant que les ruisseaux dans le secret des bois deviennent des rivières, moi, moi, je t'aime, moi, moi, je t'aime. Pendant que le soleil plus haut que les nuages fait ses nuits et ses jours Pendant que ces pareils continuent leur voyage Chargés de leurs amours Moi, moi, je t'aime Moi, moi, je t'aime Que les grands vents imaginent des ailes au coin secret de l'air, pendant qu'un soleil blanc au sable du désert dessine des margelles. Que les châteaux, en 
quand toutes nos Espagnes se font et ne sont plus, pendant que des chevaux aux cavaliers perdus traversent des montagnes. Moi, moi, je t'aime. Moi, moi, je t'aime. Pendant qu'un peu de temps habille un peu d'espace en forme de deux cœurs, pendant que sous les temps la mémoire des fleurs dort sous son toit de glace. Bon, ah, c'est beau. Ben là, on va en finir une avec une de mes chansons préférées. Vas-y, Paul. C'est une vieille chanson qui a été écrite dans les années 30, je crois. C'est juste quand les avions commençaient à être populaires. Euh, et puis, il y a un monsieur Baudry qui a écrit une chanson qui s'appelle « Votre avion va-t-il au paradis? » Petit Paul, un enfant d'à peine six ans, au champ d'aviation, un jour est venu, et l'aviateur avait au même instant monté dans l'avion quand Paul l'aperçut. Il courut vers lui et d'une forte voix. Il lui dit, monsieur, de grâce, écoutez-moi. Votre avion va-t-il au paradis? J'aimerais tant y monter avec vous. Ma mère y est rendue, on me l'a dit. Je m'ennuie d'elle chez nous. Je En passant, j'y retrouverai ma chère maman. Ma chère maman, ramenez-moi donc, je suis si petit avec vous au paradis. Et l'aviateur avait au même instant. Parti le moteur sans garer le petit Et l'énorme oiseau se mit en mouvement Frappant de passage l'enfant près de lui Il tomba blessé, l'on croyait l'enfant mort Mais on entendit qui murmurait encore Votre avion va-t-il au paradis J'aimerais tant y monter avec vous Ma mère y est rendue 
aux mélodies Je m'ennuie d'elle chez nous Je m'ennuie d'elle chez nous Vous n'aurez qu'à m'y laisser en passant J'y retrouverai ma chère maman Ma chère maman Amenez-moi donc Je suis si petit avec vous au paradis J'y retrouverai ma chère maman Ma chère maman Amenez-moi donc Je suis si petit Avec vous au paradis Merci beaucoup Courage tout le monde! Merci! Bonjour chères musiciennes et chers musiciens! J'espère que la musique vous aide dans cette période sans précédent. Je vous propose ma contribution musicale. J'ai interprété une pièce de piano au marimba intitulée Opening, tirée de l'album Classworks, composé par Philip Glass. Cette musique est décrite comme minimaliste. Certes, le matériel harmonique et rythmique est répétitif, mais je trouve cette musique riche et apaisante. Je souhaite porter votre attention sur la polyrythmie entre la main gauche qui joue des croches et la main droite qui joue des triolets. Pour ceux qui ne connaissent pas cet instrument, c'est essentiellement un gros xylophone que l'on peut jouer à deux, trois ou quatre baguettes. Son registre est comme celui du violoncelle. Vous remarquerez peut-être de petites contributions de mon chat. Il aime le marimba. Joyeux lundi en musique et vive la musique!
Bonjour, je m'appelle Ariane Mainville et je suis membre du Réseau des jeunes pour la musique à Montréal. Ça se trouve être un programme de la Coalition pour l'éducation musicale au Canada. Alors, pour vous donner un petit aperçu de mon parcours, j'ai toujours grandi avec la musique. J'ai suivi des cours de piano privé pendant 9 ans. J'ai participé à des stage bands, des Dixieland, des, des, des harmonies pendant mon secondaire. Puis au cégep, j'ai étudié le piano classique au cégep de Sainte-Foy. Puis à l'Université Laval, j'ai poursuivi mes études dans la composition musicale. Puis à l'UQAM, à Montréal, en musique de film. Puis dans les dernières années, j'ai... J'ai appris les grands principes de l'écriture de chansons. Je pense que la musique, c'est vraiment important dans nos, dans nos vies, dans nos écoles, parce que c'est à la base de notre équilibre. C'est relié à nos émotions. La construction de liens entre, entre nous, ça se, fait, ça se fait bien dans, dans des groupes de musique, dans les chorales. Une énergie spéciale, une énergie spéciale qui, qui se dégage. Puis euh, je pense que apprendre la musique, euh, ça, ça, ça fait réaliser aux jeunes que qu ils, quand ils se donnent à fond, ils peuvent, euh, ils peuvent concrétiser leurs objectifs, leurs rêves. Puis euh, maintenant, alors euh, pour le lundi en musique, j'ai décidé de vous interpréter une composition personnelle que j'ai faite récemment pour l'événement qui s'intitule « La musique au fond de nous ». Et un 4-4 entre nos murs Empiégé dans nos armures Avec nos dièses, nos bémols On peut bien en avoir à bol Le silence, la terre nous parle Dans sa muselière révoltée Dans un scepticisme déloyal On lui répond en syncopé En soupir désaccordé
Bonjour, je m'appelle Laurier Fagnan, président élu de Canada Coral. J'ai un excellent lundi et à tous ses membres. Nous savons jusqu'à quel point la musique est essentielle dans la vie des humains. Pendant ce temps d'isolement où nous sommes tous renfermés dans nos appartements et notre maison, nous voyons tous ces concerts spontanés qui se donnent sur des terrasses et les toits. Pourquoi? Parce que le monde doit en nous, qui a besoin de sortir, de se faire vivre. Donc, bravo à tous les éducateurs qui rendent leurs, leurs étudiants, tous ceux sous, sous leur tutelle, courant dans cette belle langue, cette langue de l'humanité qui exprime tout ce que nous avons en nous, la musique. Bravo et je vous souhaite encore une fois un excellent lundi en musique. Bonjour, je me présente, je suis Lamia Yared, chanteuse et qui joue aussi l'oud. Euh, ça me fait plaisir aujourd'hui de me joindre à la coalition canadienne pour euh, pouvoir vous présenter, partager quelques pièces de musique classique arabe. Euh, donc la coalition a demandé à chacun euh, l'importance de la musique dans le milieu scolaire. Euh, je crois qu'elle est nécessaire, c'est sûr, parce que la musique est un moment pour se reposer, pour se connecter. Euh, c'est à mon sens comment je me relie à la musique euh, et puis c'est aussi une tradition qui doit se transmettre d'élève euh, voyons <rire> d'enseignant à l'élève et euh, je crois que c'est nécessaire de le faire peu importe la tradition qu'on transmet pour savoir d'où on vient et vers où on veut aller avec ce qu'on apprend alors ceci dit voilà je vous joue pour commencer un moisha qui est un poème rythmique en musique arabe, euh, qui se met ici sur le rythme en 7, et qui est dans le mode du makam Huzam. de ce moisha que j'ai courté. Euh, 
Voilà, je vous fais, je suis ça avec une autre pièce qui est dans le mode rust et c'est un dor euh, qui vient d'Égypte. Un dor, c'est une forme musicale sur laquelle on improvise comme dans le jazz. Euh, c'est une forme mélodique au début et par la suite on improvise dessus. Donc je vous joue juste la partie mélodique du début, le thème du, de la pièce. Et c'est dans le mode rust qui veut dire... la mauvaise pièce. <rire> Celle-là, en fait, c'est un chant, c'est un moisha de Syrie d'Alep. Et c'était par la suite que j'allais vous présenter le dol dont je vous parlais juste précédemment. Euh, le dol s'appelle El Bolbol Gani, qui veut dire le rossignol m'est venu. Toujours dans le mode rust. Oh, 
voilà, c'était pour euh, les trois pièces que je partage aujourd'hui avec vous. Euh, je remercie encore euh, Coalition Canada de m'inviter dans le cadre de son programme. Voilà, belle journée à vous. Bonjour, ici Geneviève Guilbeault, vice-première ministre du Québec. En cette période difficile, notre culture est indispensable pour nous divertir, pour nous changer les idées et surtout pour garder espoir. Nous sommes un peuple uni et ensemble, nous passerons à travers cette épreuve. À tous les Canadiens qui sont à l'écoute, je vous souhaite un très bon lundi en musique. Bonjour à tous, je me présente André Moisan de l'Orchestre symphonique de Montréal et j'aimerais, au nom de toute l'organisation de l'Orchestre symphonique de Montréal, vous souhaiter un lundi en musique extraordinaire. On a la chance comme musicien d'avoir eu une formation euh, et qui nous permet de jouer d'un instrument seul, en musique de chambre ou en orchestre. Et j'aimerais profiter de l'occasion pour ce lundi en musique virtuelle, dans le confort de nos foyers, de prendre conscience de l'importance de l'éducation de la musique partout dans le monde et au Canada en particulier. Et pour ce faire, eh bien, rien de mieux que de jouer une petite pièce. Et il y a une pièce que j'ai jouée avec mon père et mes frères dans les années 70. On était tout jeunes et c'était le trio québécois de Lucio Agostini, un compositeur qui est né à Montréal. Son père, Giuseppe Agostini, était aussi euh, musicien compositeur. Et cette pièce, trio québécois, je vais la faire à quatre. Donc, on a rajouté la clarinette basse, un arrangement très spécial seulement pour vous. Trio québécois de Lucio Agostini. Mais avant, c'était un peu frais à Montréal. Je vais... Chapeau, s'il vous plaît, une tuque, quelque chose. Ouais, je vais euh, me protéger la tête. Non, un peu mieux peut-être? Quelque chose de mieux? Merci, je sais ça. Non, oh, je veux quelque chose de plus chaud. Ah, ça devrait faire. Ah, parfait. On est prêt? Trio québécois de Lucio Agostini. Vous me laissez une seconde pour me préparer. On y va. Bonjour tout le monde, je suis Pierre Vachon, directeur de l'éducation à l'Opéra de Montréal. Je joins ma voix à celle de mes collègues pour vous souhaiter un bon lundi en musique. 
Le philosophe allemand Nietzsche disait « Sans la musique, la vie serait une erreur ». Eh bien, je pense qu'il n'a jamais eu aussi raison en cette période de crise et de temps incertain, où la musique est notre compagne, elle donne un sens à nos jours, elle nous stimule, elle nous réconforte, elle nous réunit aussi, parce que la musique célèbre la vie, et c'est particulièrement important en ce moment. Alors prenez bien soin de vous, et au nom de la communauté musicale de Montréal, et au nom de l'Opéra de Montréal, bon lundi en musique. Bonjour tout le monde. Je m'appelle Kristen Hoff et je suis à Montréal. De la part de Musique Trois Femmes et avec la Coalition pour l'éducation musicale au Canada, je voudrais vous souhaiter un très bon lundi en musique. Nous sommes très contentes de pouvoir soutenir et célébrer l'éducation musicale aujourd'hui au Canada. Et nous voulons remercier surtout les enseignants de musique à travers ce pays pour tout ce que vous faites pour les étudiants et pour les communautés. Merci beaucoup. Avec moi aujourd'hui, nous avons mes collègues, la pianiste Jennifer Cito à Montréal et la soprano Rachel Krem qui est à Toronto. Et pour commencer, une des plus belles mélodies en musique classique. De l'opéra Les Contes d'Hoffmann, c'est le duo la Barcarolle de Jacques Offenbach. Quelle nuit, oh nuit d'amour, souris à nos ivresses, qui plus douce que le jour. La musique a un pouvoir unique. C'est de nous rapprocher aux autres et de nous rappeler que nous sommes jamais seuls. Ceci est très important en ce moment. Nous savons qu'il y en a parmi vous qui se sentent isolés ou incertains de, de votre futur. Nous espérons que vous allez trouver un peu de joie et de réconfort dans cette belle musique. Laissons-la nous rappeler les belles activités qui s'en viennent, les belles personnes qu que nous, a, nous allons pouvoir voir bientôt. La prochaine pièce est une de mes arts préférées, de l'opéra Samson et Dalila de Camille Saint-Sens. Dans cette air, Dalila décrit son cœur qui s'ouvre au son de la voix de son amant, tout comme une fleur qui s'ouvre dans le soleil. Thank you. 
La prochaine pièce de Berlioz, Villanelle se réjouit dans le printemps. C'est un sentiment que nous pouvons bien comprendre en ce début mai. Avant de terminer, nous voulons faire un remerciement spécial à tous les travailleurs de santé, à tous les travailleurs dans les premières lignes de cette situation. 
qui travaillent si fort pour nous protéger, pour prendre soin de nous, et nous devons beaucoup à ces personnes-là. Merci aussi à la Coalition de nous avoir réunis ensemble en musique aujourd'hui, et de la part de Rachel, Jennifer et moi-même, Musique Trois Femmes vous souhaite tous une formidable expérience de lundi en musique. Merci à tout le monde. Bonjour à tous et bienvenue à Music Monday at Home. If you're just joining us, I'm Sandy Marshall and I'm honored to be joining as your host throughout the day. We've been getting pictures of pets and instruments all morning and it's been so much fun to see. So just for fun, I thought I'd share a musical instrument from my home. This is a talking drum from West Africa. It's shaped like an hourglass and it's designed to mimic the tone of human speech. So coming up, we've got our spotlight celebration right after the National Music Monday Anthem singing at 12.30 p.m. Eastern. So start your vocal warm-ups, stand up and stretch, and get ready to sing with students, families, musicians, your teachers, and basically everybody across the country. And if it's okay to open your windows or safe to sing outside, that's even better. Make sure you have your bingo cards ready for the spotlight celebration. You can download the card from our website page at musicmonday.ca slash livestream. Okay, now here we go. It's time for everyone watching across Canada to sing the Music Monday Anthem.
Happy Music Monday from the Coalition for Music Education in Canada. Today, students, teachers, artists, advocates, and music lovers throughout the country are joining together in harmony and support of music education. We hope that through the sharing of songs and stories, we can provide some comfort, connection, and a sense of community to all of you at home. Thank you to Alexander Shelley for leading the National Arts Centre Orchestra, the Shalloway Youth Choir, and Music Fest Canada's Ellison Canadian Honor Choir in this beautiful rendition of our national anthem. The Coalition is grateful to Yamaha Canada Music, Long & McQuaid, the NAM Foundation, and all of the sponsors and partners who made this day possible. Today is the 16th annual Music Monday and the first Music Monday at Home virtual celebration presented by the Coalition for Music Education in Canada, a national organization that advocates for equitable access to quality music education for all children and youth. On behalf of the Coalition staff, board, partners, and contributors from coast to coast to coast, we acknowledge that the lands on which we live and work, and hopefully someday soon we'll gather again, are the traditional territories of hundreds of First Nation, Métis, and Inuit communities. We recognize the enduring presence of these nations and their diverse cultures, which exist throughout the lands we are so grateful to call home. We'd now like to introduce Eric Favaro, Chair of the Coalition's Board of Directors. Today is a day of making music from coast to coast to coast. A day to celebrate and raise the awareness and understanding of the role that music education plays in Canadian culture and to promote the benefits that music education brings to children and youth. Music and the arts are necessary for life, for leisure and for learning, as we have been witnessing daily on the television, online and in other medias. Everyone has been turning to music for comfort and consolation during these uncertain times. To all the students joining us today, we had hoped to hear you and your friends from your schools after working so hard on learning this year's Music Monday anthem, Hymn to Freedom by Oscar Peterson. But we are excited to have you join us from the comfort of your homes. Today, we will be hearing music from across Canada. I want to express my sincere appreciation and gratitude to all the teachers and musicians who keep music alive in our schools and communities. Happy Music Monday. Joyeux lundi en musique. Each year, hundreds of thousands of students, educators, and music makers celebrate with events from coast to coast to coast and participate in the collective singing of the Music Monday Anthem, an original song written by a Canadian artist. The 2020 anthem is the iconic Hymn to Freedom by Oscar Peterson and Harriet Hamilton. At a time when our world can seem divided and fractured, Hymn to Freedom espouses a message of unity and equality, which resonates as deeply today as it did in the 1960s when it was embraced as the anthem of the Civil Rights Movement. Although planning Music Monday celebrations often begins with teachers and students in our schools, they can include community groups, politicians, professional organizations, music industry partners, performers, and artists. Anyone who values music education is invited to participate. Music education matters. Public school music programs hold an important place within the vibrant communities that shape Canada's cultural landscape. Our young people deserve the innumerable benefits that come from learning, creating, and experiencing music. By raising our voices in song on Music Monday, we make it clear that equitable access to quality music education must be made available to all Canadian students. Shining 
Hi, my name is Susan Aglukak. Susan Agluko Yunga. I am a Inuk recording artist originally from Nunavut. I have written and recorded nine albums, finished up my tenth this past year. And over the years of recording and songwriting, I have found great joy and a lot of healing through my music. And I know that you will find this as well today as we celebrate music and Music Mondays. It's a privilege to share briefly with you through this video. And especially in this time when we are living through the COVID crisis, I know we would all much rather be doing this in person, uh, performing in person, sharing in person. Um, but for the safety of the vulnerable, our, our elderly and our children, we do this virtually. And I know you will get just as much out of this virtual presentation. Enjoy your day. Happy Music Monday. Stay home. Stay safe. Hello. This is Alana Bridgewater, and I'm wishing you all a happy Music Monday. Hi, this is Ron Sexsmith, wishing everyone in Canada a very happy Music Monday. Uh, stay safe, everybody, and I'll see you on the flip side. Hello, my name is Molly Johnson, wishing you a very happy Music Monday. Music makes the world go round. As Canadians, let's all support the importance of equitable access to quality music education. Chris McCool here from Sultans of String, wishing all of Canada happy Music Monday. Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Crossed Out. Thank you for attending this year's Music Monday. Hi, my name is Chris Burkett. I'm a music producer. I'm wishing all Canadians a happy Music Monday. Music is the universal language, and what better way to help this language by educating us in music. Keep up the good work. In the past, I've spoken of my non-traditional education, both musical and otherwise, quite openly. 
Growing up, I was exposed to all kinds of music in my household, but of course, what was primarily played was jazz. And I was lucky enough to have a front row, well, a backstage seat. From a young age, I saw firsthand the important role that music played in the lives of others. When people would approach my dad after his concerts in either hotel lobbies, airports, restaurants, or sometimes even at my school, I would hear stories being shared of how much his music meant to people. Being the youngest child of an older father, I was also able to see how important music was to him. When he would go through periods of being unwell, all he wanted to do was listen to music. Not his. It strengthened him. A stroke in 1993 left his left side almost completely paralyzed. While he considered walking away from live performance altogether, thankfully, he did the opposite. The thing which he wanted to walk away from is actually the thing that ended up giving him more life. Now, as I've gotten older and I'm beginning to carve out my own path, I've been able to take in all that I've seen and all that I've learned and use my voice to the best of my ability to assist in ensuring that everyone has access to music programs. I've been able to see firsthand that music is more than a hobby. It's more than this thing some of us feel forced to do in middle school. For some, more people than you think, it is a life force. Whether you live or breathe your instrument, or you're like me, and music eases your anxiety, keeps you company, and is at times the only thing in the world that you feel will get you through a day or a specific scenario, music is a necessity. This art form makes me laugh, cry, think, and inspires me to do better. I see how music has had a positive effect on those I hold closest to me. And I've seen how much advocacy is necessary to ensure that everyone has access to this art form. Music Monday is a platform we are lucky to have, and seeing how strongly this initiative has been embraced across the country is inspiring in ways I can't properly describe. I'm proud. I'm so proud to have been introduced to so many dedicated and empowered young people through Coalition Canada and Music Monday. Just look at what can happen when we come together in harmony. Happy music is teaching and watch efficiency, confidence, and develop their own style is an honor. With Music Monday, we are so lucky to be able to celebrate music here, together in harmony. We, the Mini Pop Kids, want to take time to thank Canadians from coast to coast who have been raising their voices in the name of music education for our generation and for the ones that will follow us on an amazing Music Monday. We wouldn't be here talking to you if music wasn't such an important part of our lives every day. We might not be able to come together in person at the moment. But we can show how the power of music can still bring a country together to have one voice. Thank you to the Coalition for Music Education in Canada, allowing all of us to sing our hearts out for the world. We represent the future of music and are speaking on behalf of all music students, musicians, singers, DJs, composers, and young artists out there so thank you for listening. And you know, as they say, the show must go on. Music matters to me. It matters to me. Me too. Me three. And me. Me too. It matters to my entire family. It matters to me. And we know it matters to you. Hi everyone. My name is Stephanie Stibano and I am a Youth for Music ambassador as well as a former Nafsikism Youth Leadership Award winner. The Coalition's Youth Through Music is a program dedicated to Canadian youth, inspiring and building community through music. Youth Through Music has given countless opportunities to youth to raise their voices in support of both music and music education. And it also provides aspiring youth leaders with the opportunities to make a difference in their schools and communities. I have been a Youth Through Music ambassador for six years and one of my favorite things about the Youth for Music program is getting to connect and meet with so many people who are passionate about music and music education. The Youth for Music program has given me countless opportunities, such as speaking at the University of Toronto and attending the ORF Music Conference. And I'm so happy to be able to be a part of this program. So from all of us at Youth for Music, happy Music Monday, Canada. <laughs>
That was Mimi Obonsawin, singer and ukulele player. Mimi has performed for the coalition before, in particular for the Namwag Shkinweg Indigenous Youth Roundtable in Toronto, and also performed at the National Arts Centre in 2017. We're proud of our long association with the folks at the NAC, and we want to say a heartfelt thank you for all their support and assistance. Let's hear from them now. Hi there, everyone. My name is Alexander Shelley. I'm music director of Canada's National Arts Centre Orchestra, and I'm here to wish you all a very happy Music Monday. I hope you have a wonderful day, despite the very, very challenging circumstances, and I hope that you're all well and safe, first and foremost. Today is the first ever Music Monday at home, and we're going to try, uh, through the wonders of technology, to come together in the virtual sphere in harmony and we've got great things in store. I'm particularly looking forward to Oscar Peterson's Hymn to Freedom. It's one of my uh, very favorite songs ever. As a little, a little boy, I heard it for the first time and I tried to play it on the piano. It's been part of my life ever since. And I'm so thrilled that we're gonna unite in song together uh, during this particularly difficult time with this particularly beautiful Canadian song. On behalf of the whole National Arts Center Orchestra and the organization, the National Arts Center, I send you uh, all our very best wishes. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and that music enriches and enlivens your life um, every day, whatever day of the week it is. But today, a very happy Music Monday. Hey Canada, happy Music Monday. My name's Eric Shankman, and instead of playing sports and doing all sorts of other stuff after school, I stay at home and learn how to play the guitar, and then later I learn how to sing. If you have a passion for music, go after it. Music is worth it. It will always make your soul feel good. Share. Hi guys, this is Mika Barnes. I'm so happy to be here in support of Coalition Canada. We've moved Music Mondays online, of course, and one of the beautiful things that Coalition Canada does is help create opportunities for young people to have music in their lives. If it wasn't for the music education programs in the schools that I attended while I was growing up here in Toronto, would I have had the leg up that I had? Would I have been able to be educated in music enough to be able to take advantage of the opportunity when the nylons gave me a little phone call? I don't think so. So thank you to Coalition Canada. Thank to all of you who are supporting Music Mondays. This is Mika Barnes saying, keep the music happening, people. Hello, everybody. 
My name is Johannes Debus. I'm the music director of the Canadian Opera Company. And it's my great pleasure to send you warm greetings here from Berlin and to wish you all a very happy Music Monday. A very happy Music Monday from all of us at the Canadian Opera Company. Harriet Hamilton Marola wrote the words to one of the most important anthems of the civil rights movement. It was the early 1960s when she received the ask to write lyrics to Oscar Peterson's hymn. With a simple pen and paper, she wrote the words that we in Canada now grow up singing in school. When every hand joins every hand and together molds our destiny, that's when we'll be free. Harriet's stunning lyrics perfectly encompass what each and every one of you participating in Music Monday are doing. We are all joining hands and carving out our own destinies, our own paths in and through music. We unfortunately lost Harriet in January of this year, but through all of you singing together in harmony today, her beautiful and timeless words will continue to be heard and will only grow stronger. Harriet was a truly exceptional woman with a kind heart, brilliant mind. Her generosity of spirit is something we are all lucky to have been able to experience, whether from spending time with her or reading, singing, and sharing her written words. She will be missed dearly, and I can say personally that I'm eternally grateful for the gifts she shared so willingly, both of her talents as a lyricist and as a friend to those who knew her. Thank you, Harriet. We'll miss you. say that I cannot envision having done some of the things that I've done without my music to go with me and in some cases before me. I found that it was a subject that I could go back to, I could rely on and because of the complexity of some of the music it, it opened uh, new areas of thought for me and it gave me different goals to shoot for. We have here the chance to, to bring into the world a country that has a great reputation for kindness, for a sense of what is right and what is wrong. All those things mean nothing if you don't have that sense of culture, if you can't appreciate things like music. Today we're, you know, this, the anthem for Music Monday for the next two years will be Hymn to Freedom. Mm -hmm. And you had a very lengthy <laughs> professional relationship uh, with the composer of that song. Yes, and Oscar was a good friend. <laughs> and can you talk a little bit about any discussions the two of you had or his perspective on the importance of music education? Because he was very vocal about that, at least with me. He, he, he felt that jazz music should be uh, taught and, and be available to all young kids. You know, he didn't think that there was any restriction particularly. I first met Oscar at the Banff School of uh, Summer, it was the Banff Summer Music Program in 1974, and we were both there to teach. So, yes, I would say your father was very committed to jazz education and involving all kids from all walks of life 
who show any kind of uh, inclination and desire to, to play this music. I actually one of the one of the first albums I heard was Oscar Peterson's music. Some of the few first albums, and I mean, I absolutely just got. That's when I actually knew that this is it. I have to I have to be a musician and I have to play piano. I was able to play with Oliver for almost 15 years. Uh, he has a close love of the music of Mr. Peterson as well as this song, Hymn to Freedom. We played it every single night. It was the last song uh, of the evening, every single night, like without exception. The Coalition for Music Education in Canada believes that music education is the right of every child and that quality instruction by specialist music teachers is vital to a well-rounded education. Now more than ever, Canadians realize the value of music. Through advocacy, research and programs like Music Monday, the Coalition is hard at work to ensure that music lives on in our schools and communities. Visit coalitioncanada.ca slash donate and support our mission to ensure that the lives of all Canadian children are enriched by quality school music programs. For a limited time, donors will receive video and audio of this exclusive recording by Dave Young, Robbie Botosh, and Jim Doxis, three of Canada's top jazz artists. Join together in harmony with hundreds of thousands of Canadians who believe in the value of music. Visit coalitioncanada.ca for more information.
Hey, it's Larnell Lewis, and I want to wish you a happy music Monday. All right? I hope that you are making music on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, every day. Just keep it up. Keep it going. Keep practicing. All right? Stay safe. Hi, everyone. I'm Valerie Pringle, and I want to say happy Music Monday to all of you. This is a very important celebration, of course. Music is such a big part of my life, although I'm not very musically talented. The rest of my family was, but we were always singing. My sister played the guitar, my brother played the piano, my younger sister had a beautiful voice or has a beautiful voice, so we always sang a lot of folk music, camp songs. I once took the bassoon and got to play in a school orchestra. Once again, I wasn't very good, but oh, it was so much fun to be part of that music making. And once also when I was young at school, I was part of a choir and we sang a concert at Massey Hall. I'll never forget it. It was amazing. Music education is so important. Never forget that. Happy Music Monday, Canada. Music education is important. And let me tell you why. Whether it's visual or performance, art is the greatest fury of passion and positive change the world has ever known. You are blessed. My name is Tom Jackson. Hi everyone, bonjour tous. I'm Charlotte Diamond and I'm here to help us celebrate Music Monday. A big thank you to all the music teachers right across Canada and their students that have kept the beat going in spite of the challenges of distance learning. I know that I have wonderful memories of being part of Music Monday in Vancouver and around Toronto. It was so exciting to hear the bands and hear the choirs and everybody sharing their love of music. Music is like food. It's a nourishment. We actually grow when we play music together. So keep playing your music, keep being in love with music, and remember Music Monday, and let's celebrate. We can make music anywhere. I love to sing when I'm out working in my garden. This song, the garden song. Inch by inch, row by row, gonna make my garden grow gonna mulch it deep and low gonna make it fertile ground inch by inch row by row please bless these seeds i sow please keep them safe below till the rains come tumbling down till the rains come Oh, <laughs> 
begin? In elementary school. Thank you, Marie Enns, Grosvenor School, and all the schools across the country who bring music to their students, for this is where it begins, and who knows where it can take you, even to the stages of opera all over the world. Hey Canada, happy Music Monday. My name is William Leathers, and I'm from Mississauga, Ontario. I'm a classical trumpet student at the Juilliard School. Growing up, I was very fortunate to have music education in school, and I can't imagine my life without it. Music education is not just about teaching how to play an instrument, but how to feel, express, love, collaborate with others, and understand the value of hard work. During this COVID-19 pandemic, music has been used in every culture to thank the doctors, nurses, and essential workers across the globe. Music has also been used to keep our spirits up while in quarantine. I've never met anyone who doesn't like music. It's the international language that brings us together. Thank you. Canada, it's Dr. Evelyn Rubin, family doctor and former Jeopardy champion, wishing you a happy Music Monday from Toronto. These are the best ways to protect yourself from COVID-19. What are stay home, practice social distancing, and wash your hands. And of course, keep connected online with initiatives like Music Monday at Home from the Coalition for Music Education in Canada. Hopefully we'll be able to celebrate together in person next May. Hi there. I'm Justin Welsh, a opera singer and a Canada Post worker, and I'd like to wish everyone in Canada a happy Music Monday. Hi everyone, this is Rebecca Small and I'm an internal medicine re resident here in St. John's, Newfoundland, but I also grew up playing the trombone, cello and piano. I wouldn't be who I am today without all the music in my life. So thank you to all my music teachers throughout the years and to all the music teachers across Canada. Happy Music Monday, stay safe and keep playing. I'm Cheryl Siwipegaham. I live in Edmonton, Alberta, and I am from the Little Red River Cree Nation in Northern Alberta. On behalf of music therapists across Canada, I would like to wish everyone a very happy Music Monday. Hi there, I'm Misha Bruger gosman and I can't say enough in support of music education. Of course, I am a uh, example of what music education can do but beyond that when I think of you know my sons and what it's going to afford them to be able to manipulate the parts of their brains responsible for problem solving and you know how the arts are able to teach us new ways to think and see things from multiple perspectives we're not creating a whole new generation of musicians necessarily although that is a wonderful thing to do we're training problem solvers to take us, to usher us into a better way of life, into a better way of, of being amongst each other. And I just want this for all of us. Music education unlocks the door to being able to see our way forward in new and very important ways. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 